With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Access pressure inside a air bubble of radius r just below the surface of water is p1. Access pressure inside a drop of same radius just outside the surface is p2. Then T is the surface tension it is given here. You have to check out of ABCD which option is the correct one. So in the first case, the bubble is just below the water surface. In the second case, the excess pressure you have to find out inside the drop. So let's say this is a drop. Radius here is R. And if I make a bubble just below the surface, let's say this is the surface and I am making a bubble just below the surface like this. So if you see here, if I talk about the excess pressure, we have to count the number of surface, right? This is a drop. Inside this, there is liquid. So how many surface are there? One. If you say here there is water, how many surface are there? One. One surface you have to cross in each, right? Unlike drop. In drop, what happens? Unlike bubble. In bubble, what happens? You have to cross two surfaces, right? In If I make a bubble here, and I am say, saying that this is a bubble, and this bubble is not inside the water, there will be two surfaces. But in, in these cases, in case of drop, and in case of bubble just below the water surface, there are only one surface. So, we know that if I talk about the excess pressure, it is equals to 2T by R if you are crossing only one surface. So, in both the cases, the excess pressure P1 and P2 will be the same. That is 2T by R. Now, you can see the P1 is equals to P2 is our answer. So, if you see here, B is the correct answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.